Okay, so then, whenever you two are ready, can you talk through what you built? So here we have implemented two-way, seemingly real-time audio and video communication between two FPGA boards. So as you can see, what's being displayed on the screen here is a function of what's actually being received by the other FPGA's camera and being transmitted over GPIO connections to this board and then played back onto this VGA display. So we can see Neetha in front of the camera over there on this VGA screen. Cool. And that's being communicated from? This camera right here. So it's like this camera feeds into that FPGA, this FPGA. and then that transmits both the address and the data to the other FPGA. Uh -huh. And there's a state machine on both FPGA boards and they communicate with each other via like setting signals. They, um, one FPGA, sorry, one state machine checks for a handshake uh -huh. and I was paranoid. So I make them handshake for four cycles. And then after that, that FPGA will move on. And when it moves on, it'll tell the other FPGA to immediately, um, do whatever we were just handshaking. There's two handshakes we check for a read handshake and a right handshake. So they both have to finish reading handshake and then they'll both write and then they have to handshake. And yeah, we send, we use all G, uh, 72 GPIO ports, uh, yeah. The key reason why we had to do two handshaking, two handshakes as opposed to one is because in order to prevent bus hogging, mm -hmm. there is a timer implemented and the ultimate result of that is to complete the state machine, it doesn't take a consistent number of cycles. So it can have a variability of 32 cycles in terms of the relative duration to complete um, the state machine. Okay. And that all happens in the read. So we need to make sure that because the read time can be inconsistent between the two boards, they handshake before they start writing. Okay. And also once they complete writing. So we designed the state machine so that like it would read from the camera and it would then um, like take a step. It would basically, um, what's the word, iterate through with each pixel of the camera and then it, ideally it would read the camera and then write. Mm -hmm. And ideally if both state machines are reading, reading, writing, writing, if one state machine takes a step, the other should take a step. So we thought that like initially we wouldn't have to pass addresses over and we just passed data. But then we had an indexing issue where it would like the pixels were there, but they were like dancing across the screen in like a funky, kind of like a bee, like hive or like a wasp. So some kind of a desynchronization? Desynchronization, yeah. yeah. The so then we had okay. to pass the addresses over, but since we're using, we haven't demoed audio yet, we'll do that mm -hmm. in a second, but since we were using 16 bits for audio and we were using four signals for um, handshaking, and then we were using another 16 for pixels, that meant that we didn't have enough ports for addresses. So when we demo audio, you're going to see that we cut audio from 8 bits to 6 bits. 6 bit audio. Yes, 6 bit okay. audio. And I'm actually really grateful that we did an experiment earlier on where we tested to see how low of audio we could go because 6 bits is actually the lowest we could go till like the quality dropped significantly lower. Okay. So we can demo <laughs> can audio. Can we hear that? Yeah. Yeah, hello. let's do that. Well, actually, um, do you want me to speak first? Or? Yeah, you can go. Hello, hello? Oh, Hit key one. Like, make sure that they're both enabled. Hello. Sorry about that. That's all on me. Um, so I don't know if the video can pick up the fact yep. that, like, I'm clearly, yeah. Yeah, for I, sure. Okay, so yeah. you're speaking into that mic, and it's coming out of... Yes, yes, yes. And if Fabian speaker. wants to do the same, like, on this end, I'm, the camera's showing that end, but, like, I can also see... I can see Hunter filming on this end. So let's see. Can you yeah. point your camera around? Okay, so we're hearing your voice there and seeing your camera there, and then if I walk around the bench on Neetha's end we see Sabian. Sabian's camera over there and we hear his voice which are speaking hello hello yeah there we go awesome and the poor quality is not a reflection of the communication protocol it's because it's six bit audio yeah gotcha so it was really crisp when it was 32 bits but if we actually did 32 bit audio then we'd be using 64 pins for each yeah and that's like at this point we're using 12 for in total so that's yeah okay eight bit was really high quality though but we had to make this work so very very nice and we're just not going to say anything about this right now but
Awesome. Thank you both.